What is going on, my beautiful peoples, a.k.a. how you be, how you be in 2023. Today, we are going to talk about the ant. Can you drown an ant? Let's get our intro out the way, try to find some sunlight, and then we're going to get this stream started. having an amazing day. Let's just try to speak to some people real quick while we can. We got my buddy Queen's Life in the building. How are you doing, sis? Thank you. Thank you for coming through. We appreciate you. We trying to um, get this thing together. We trying to get this thing together. Um, We're going to have us a good old conversation today because I got some stuff on my mind. Queen's Life is in the building. Good to see you. I know I just spoke to you. Allie's Craft Pursuits. How are you doing, sis? Um, let me let me see if I can get this right. Hashtag Queen. Oh, hashtag, hashtag Queen is in the building. Thank you, thank you for coming through, sis. We truly appreciate you. We truly appreciate you. It is a privilege to have you here. And we are glad that you are here. So, let's see. Um, we got my bro, Mr. Content Creator Extraordinaire, a.k.a. Mr. 1200 and Growing, the one and only, Jared's Talks. What's good with you, bro? What's good with you? We got my buddy Sassy in the building. The experience with Sassy. Yes, yes, yes. What is going on, sis? Thank you. Thank you for coming through all the way from California. Hey, you know what I mean? We got one of our members in the building, the one and only, Fifi's Journey. How are you doing, sis? Thank you. Thank you for being here. We got my buddy, Amber Angels Truth, another one of our members. Thank you for coming through, sis. We appreciate you. We got all oh, eating with Jerry coming in on the second channel, the backup joint. We appreciate you, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, y'all, we got celebrities in the building. What is going on? We got Miss Mukbang in the building. The 
one and only Tay Eats. What's going on, sis? How you doing? Miss working on 3K out here in these YouTube streets. You know what I mean? I saw your crawfish video pop up on my notifications, but I've been running around crazy today. So I made sure to swing back through and check that out. See what you was grubbing on. Let's see. Um, thank you so much, Amber. I'm listening and driving too. <laughs> Oh, man, these mobile live streams, y'all, these mobile live streams. Let's see, everybody is speaking. We got we got fam in the building, living my best life at 60. Thank you, thank you for coming through. We appreciate you. Hope you're doing well today, as always. We got my buddy Cheryl, cruising is fun anytime, is in the building. Thank you for coming through and for hanging out with us today. We appreciate you. They got some cruise content coming up for us, so you know we can't wait to check that out. Let's see. I'm going I'm to hit this horn real quick. Just to let little man know that I'm here because we got the roll. We got us to roll. We got my buddy Yaya in the building. Yaya's best life. How are you doing, sis? Thank you. Thank you for coming through. My bro, just Jason Keto. What's good with you, fam? What's good with you? We got my bro, Paul's gaming in the building. Good news. Okay, Paul, hit me with the numbers now. Hit me with the numbers. What you got for me, fam? What you got for me? You know how we get about these numbers. Hashtag geeked up. Geeked up. Oh, everybody's seeing Geek Squad. That's what I'm talking about. Speaking to everybody, showing love. We got um Alyssa's Adventures and Cruising. How are you doing, sis? Thank you. Thank you for being here. I saw you earlier at uh, Miss T with the T's live stream. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Hello, progeny. AKA Little Man. How was your day, buddy? That's good. Um something dollar menu-ish. Yeah. I don't know exactly what menu is going to be and exactly what location is going to be, but we is fitting to be balling on a budget today, son. We, we balling on a budget. We're going to figure something out. Let's see. Who else we got in the building? I don't, I don't know about all that, son. I, I say we balling on the budget. You name five things. The... <laughs> one, one specific one specific okay we'll see we're gonna see. we're gonna see what we can do oh okay jason i'm gonna check my email after the stream is over and i will be sure to respond to you bro thank you thank you it, hold hold on wait wait a minute doth my eyes deceive me what, what is happening what is happening we got we got my buddy Dominic LeBleu in the building. How are you doing, fam? I had a chance to check out some of your content. I want to say that it was um, last week or the weekend one. And I got a chance to check out some of your Instagram content, too. The, the snakes are doing well. All that stuff is going great. And that is awesome. Absolutely awesome. We appreciate you being here, sis. We appreciate you being here. Okay, uh-oh, I see you, Sassy, coming in on a backup channel. That's what's up. That's what's up. We got my buddy, official Jamie, in the building. How are you doing, sis? Thank you, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Okay, uh -oh. I see you, Paul. I see you. I, I'm telling you, I've been telling you since day one that it don't take much, and these numbers are going to jump. It don't take much at all. And once the numbers start jumping, they don't stop jumping. We proud of you, bro. 
keep doing your thing. We just glad that you are part of the family. Let's see. Everybody is speaking to everybody. Um, oh, we got my bro, Backlash Fisherman, another Eastern Carolinian content creator. I got to I'm gonna text you after the stream because um, I'm actually headed to Greenville to um, get little man a haircut. And I don't know what you got going on today, but I know it'll be later on. If it's cool with you, I might swing by and get those buckets and chicken wire because I'm trying to work on these here cucumbers. But I'll text you. I'll call you. And we'll talk about it. Let's see. Everybody is speaking. At, oh, wow. Look at this. Look, 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 look at here, y'all. Look at here. We got my buddy, Kelly. I bring it every day. What is going on, sis? What is going on? Be sure to connect with um, Sassy and Rooster's backup channel. They just dropped the link with that Geek Squad so we can connect with them. Show them some love. Um, we got my bro Matt C in the building. What's good with you? What's good with you? Jared said he's 1203 now. That's what's up. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, cooking fish is. Oh, well. Okay. So maybe I do need to stop by. <laughs> we got my buddy, Lala Red XO XO. What's going on, sis? We got my bro, Toby, the Kilted Adventurer, is in the building. What is good, fam? What is good? Okay, so I think I'm somewhat caught up. Um, let me go ahead and see if my laptop will cooperate with me. I am trying to do something important. There we go. We want to copy that. We want to copy that. Then we're going to come over here, and we're going to paste that. Let's see where we paste it. There it goes. Okay, paste. All right, we got the link dropped. You know how we do over here with the StreamYard thing. So let me just make sure that I pin it so that it does not disappear. And we're gonna have this conversation because um, your, your boy trying to step his game up. We're trying to work on some things over here, y'all. We is trying to work on some things. Okay, so we got the link pinned. That's what's up. So this, this is what we're going to talk about. We're talking about, and this is kind of a continuation from yesterday. First of all, yesterday was an absolutely amazing live stream. Not only did we have an amazing panel discussion with myself and uh, Big Bro J from African Dreaming and Big Bro Vision from Vision Preparedness, but we also had the OG in the building. The one and only Led Farmer came through and um, cut up with us in the comments a little bit. And we had us some fun. We had us some fun. Uh, okay, let me make sure I missed anybody real quick. Okay, everybody's sitting Geek Squad and connecting. That's what's up. Okay, oh, we got Jeremy. JNS Adventures is in the building. Thank you for coming through, bro. I love how y'all always come in on both channels. That really, really, really means a lot. Let me put you up on the screen real quick. There we go. All right. So we'll catch up with the chat in just a little bit because I got to have this conversation with you. So yesterday, we discussed the subject of how do you stop swimming? And the reason why we discussed that subject is because with so many things going on, it's so easy for us to want to quit, for us to want to stop because of the negativity and all of the other things that happen in these YouTube streets. So it becomes difficult. So the question that we posed was, have you stopped swimming? In other words, yes, it may be difficult. Yes, there may be things going on, but have you stopped swimming? Are you still pushing? Are you still going? Are you still trying? Even though it may not be easy, have you given up on you? 
because we don't want you to give up on you because we're not giving up on you. We know what you're capable of. We know what you can do. We know what you can accomplish and we want to see you succeed. So today, and I kind of messed up because I had to run into the gym yesterday and I started something that I didn't get a chance to finish. Um, so this is kind of a continuation from yesterday. We're going to kind of expound on this a little bit. Thank you so much, my buddy, Dominique. We appreciate you. So at the end of the stream yesterday, I mentioned something intentionally because as the phrase goes, I knew that it would get my big bros in their feelings in a good way. So um, what I mentioned was, um, can you drown an ant? And um, I wanted to discuss this subject because it's an important subject for us to address. Now, I don't know if um, either one of um, my big bros are in the building or if um, there's anybody that wants to come up and enjoy this discussion with me, um, you are more than welcome to. Just remember that this is a family channel, so we're trying to keep everything PC, dare I say PG, just so that anybody and everybody can watch it, no matter who's around. But outside of that, you are welcome to come up and enjoy the conversation with me. Um, uh, yeah, Amber, if you want to come up, you can. That's not a problem. Um, so what, um, what we were talking about yesterday and what we want to discuss today is the importance of not giving up and moving forward. Now, yesterday... We talked about it on a, oh, we got my buddy Kelly in the building. Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah, I know. I got, I got him. It's, it's part of the merch, buddy. It's part of the merch. Uh-huh. I got a little everything. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Good. Be careful. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Most okay. definitely. Um, little man just saw the... Uh, the community post that I put up with the merch teddy bears. So that is very something. cute. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute. Yeah. I have I a thing for teddy bears. bears. I like them. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff, buddy. I got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell somebody to buy something. <laughs> What's going on, Broke Farmer? How you doing, bro? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. So what's been going your going on your way, Kelly? Um, I'm just trying to keep it going. <laughs> yes. Been very busy. Yeah. Everybody's busy, but you know what I mean. I've been I trying to, you know, strategize and things like that with the YouTube channel. Um I opened my memberships, which was scary, and um uh, did that. Oh nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I'm kind of doing one step at a time. We understand that. And that's mm -hmm. actually part of what we're discussing today. So yep. I'm glad that you mentioned it. Okay. Because um, <laughs> yesterday we discussed it from an individual standpoint mm -hmm. of have you stopped swimming. We talked about the salmon and how that yep. particular fish continues to move forward. Despite yes. Despite going upstream and that kind of deal. Oh, that's snap. Right. We got James Gipe Gipe in the building. All What's right. Good, bro? How Let you me... doing? Man, thank you for coming through, fam. Thank you for mm -hmm. coming through. Well, we got all kinds of celebrities in here today. <laughs> Sheesh. Y'all <laughs> finna make me blush and I'm dark. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so I wanted to discuss this same subject from a community standpoint today. Mm -hmm. Because um, I can't tell you how many times I've done this. And I continue to do it. I, I guess it's just because I think somehow it's going to work one day. Um, right, right. You, you got a mound of fire ants in the yard. I'm going to grab the water hose. I'm going to drown them. You, know, you got the water hose just to going. And yeah. um, 10 minutes later, it's like they rise up out of the dead 
and they right back. Like they never went anywhere. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And the reason is what we're discussing today, because it is incredibly difficult to drown ants. It is. <laughs> and, and, and the reason is because they understand collective and community. They do. In, in a way that, that we as humans are still trying to get it right. Mm -hmm. So um, when you begin to try to drown ants, you see what is the thumbnail of our live stream. Oh, yes. we got my buddy Amber. Oh, I gotta turn something off. Your YouTube. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Can you hear me, Amber? Uh oh. Okay, she dropped down. She dropped. Yeah, when, when you come back, Amber, just close the other tab with YouTube, and mm -hmm. then we'll be in good shape. Um, so, I mean, you can't drown them because they come together and they, sure do. they, they latch arms and appendages mm -hmm. and, and they turn into the floating ball of ants. That is Ooh. our something. <laughs> yeah. And it's true. It, it's true. So mm -hmm. I, I picked the thumbnail for a reason. I'm not even going to lie. Um, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that the thumbnail is just enough. Mm -hmm. I was slightly disgusting to make people click on it to see what it's about. The, it, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is what's up. <laughs> yes, that's good. <laughs> we, we, we got confirmation. We got yes. confirmation. Absolutely. <laughs> what's going on, Tay Weezy? How you doing, champ? Thank you for coming through. Thank you for hey, coming Weezy. through. And hey, Psalm 146, we appreciate you, sis. As always. Yep. Um, so let's see. Amber's back. Let's see if we can make this thing work. Yep. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Did it work? You doing all right today? Oh, uh, yeah. Can you hear me? We yes. can. We were able. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Wow. We can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Thank you. So we're having this conversation about ants and how... Um, they come together because one ant can drown. When it's just one, if yes. you get them by themselves and, and you get enough water around them, they, they can't do anything. But when it's multiple, it's a collective and you can't drown a hundred ants. Mm -hmm. you, you may be able to drown one, but not a hundred. It just don't work that way. What's going on, my bro, Jags? Appreciate you, man. So the, the subject that I wanted to discuss and the application of this example in nature, if you will, mm -hmm. is that when times get tough, who, who can you pull? Who can you lean on that's right. going to help to create that buoyancy that allows you to flow? That's interesting. So what do you think, Amber? What, what are your take? What's your take on it since we got you on the panel? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to, um, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll let y'all talk about it a little bit. I, I don't know. I've never gone live. So I guess, how can you get stage fright? <laughs> oh, that's no problem. We, we got you, sis. No problem at all. Yeah, um, it takes a while. You know what I mean. <laughs> you yeah, see, I'm sitting I, on my couch just chilling. I guess <laughs> I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done that a year ago. <laughs> right. I guess it depends on uh, uh, what kind of situation you're in. Uh, what you would look. Who you, I might have to go in. These roosters are out here and they're gonna crow. But um, you have to. It depends on what kind of situation you're in to who you would try to lean on. You know, I guess because you can't learn. Um, uh, different people, you lean, lean on different people for different things. You can't lean on one person for everything. You know what I'm saying? You just got different people. Yeah, That's you got a, a system. You know, a team. 
Yeah, I mean, I would a- say, I would say, like, I'm just thinking of um, my YouTube journey. I definitely had um, that wasn't a small group, but it was interesting. I just had people that sort of had my back, and that sort of helped me along the way. Like they showed me things, you know, live streaming, for example. Um, a little bit of videography, how to do stuff like that. Um, just people who could give you tips and tricks and people who would give you feedback, you know, whether positive or negative to sort of keep you moving. Cause you know, every time you make a video, hopefully you'll get better and better and better. Every time you live stream, you'll get better and better. And if you have people that care about you and, um, you know, and also what's the word? Like, like you're a cheerleader, like you have people who kind of help you out, you know? Right. I like think that if, helps. Yeah. if everybody goes back and looks at their first one they ever did, they can have hindsight and say, oh, wow, you know, how they've grown, how they grow. That's right. And talking about, uh, you know, uh, the fish, have you stopped swimming? Well, I made a comment in the comments, but if you have to stop swimming, at least tread. It's like when people get old, you know, they retire. People say, oh, when they retire, they sit down and they die. You know, they just give up and they don't have anything that what they're used to. So um, a lot of people go, the older people, after they retire, they go ahead and get another job. Mm-hmm. Just a, like a part time. My dad did that, yeah. you know, and he 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 had retired. And I was like, the one thing I want him to do is to be able to enjoy retirement. But then right. he got cancer. He lived six months, but he worked even with the chemo. He never stopped swimming. Wow. And and he is what pulled me through being on the streets for 17 years. Wow. Drugs, God pulled me through. Yeah. And, and you know, people that had given up on me, my mother mainly, uh, she finally told me after 12 years of being clean, I never thought I would see the day that wow. you would sit there in the room with me. I'm like, yeah, we pretty much, we, we, would, go, we would go at it. But I never stopped. She would, she would, and uh, tantalize me and uh, torment me. You want it? You want it? I know you want it. Here, here's some money. Go back on the streets. That's the mm-hmm. worst thing you can do to somebody, right? I don't want to make this all about me, but the example is, you know, I I had to leave. Mm-hmm. So then, when I left and went back out on the streets because of that, for that particular reason. Mm-hmm. I was treading water. I wasn't sinking, but I wasn't swimming, but I was just treading until I could get to where I could swim again. Mm. You know, and I feel like I can swim now. You know. And that's I, excellent, Amber. And we all can. Yeah. We are free to, to a lot of people are imprisoned in their mind. They don't realize that's true. How free they are. Yeah. Right? Like you're sitting there and you're doing what you want to do. What you want to do. I hope that's what you want to do. It is. <laughs> Motivation. Look at him. He wants to motivate people. Yep. So that's what he's doing. Yep. If he wants to add on to that, he'll clear something else off his plate when he's doing mm-hmm. that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I have a different view of retirement than a lot of people. <laughs> 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 because um when I so I'm, I'm semi retired, and when I was working and I had a really high stress job and everything, I was kind of always looking at my watch. Oh, yeah, <laughs> which is terrible, you know what I mean? Like, that's not the way to live. Always looking ahead, four more hours till I get out of here, <laughs> three more hours till I get out of here. But you know, but it, it could be because I didn't do any like fulfilling work, I just, I just punched the clock and did my thing and whatever, right? Um. But I think if I had a, I call it a real job, like a, like a, like a, like a caregiver or a nurse or a doctor, I probably would have felt differently about work, but I just knew it was like a means to an end. So I, so I have, so I have difficulty understanding people whose like work life is all they are in their mind. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's laugh for me. That's like a joke because I feel like none of this stuff really matters. It's it's more like it really doesn't spiritually and things like that. Like to me, that's more important. But and and I've always been that way. Yeah, I've always been that way. Well, and and there's like, there's things that that money can't buy. 
and that's, and right. that's kind of what we're we're discussing this evening. Hey, yep. Deborah's journey, how you doing? What's going on, Scratching Pete, aka Mister Everywhere in the building? My bro Odom's Homestead. What's good with you, fam? Um, the the community that we have here, yep, and making sure that the community stays as positive as possible mm-hmm. and helping everyone and motivating and encouraging everyone. Those are the bonds that allow us to float and be buoyant mm-hmm. in the difficult times that are going to come our way. So that's something that money can't buy. That's correct. Yep. The best things in life are absolutely free. And I'm just going to throw this up there and, and I'm just going to say it and then be done with it. It doesn't have to be continued as a conversation, but in the, in your community, the geek squad, the, um, African dreaming, uh, vision preparedness, you know, the group, um, I thought I was doing all the things it took to become part of the group, but see, I had it wrong. I, my view of what, what took place, those who know, you know, if those who don't, don't i screwed up and i screwed up in such a way that if i'm not forgiven guess what i'm gonna do you best believe i'm gonna keep swimming i'm not gonna sit there and tread no water i can apologize and that it can be accepted or i can apologize and it not be accepted right but i'm gonna do my part not because it's a script that i apologize i nobody has to ever apologize for anything Right, yes. but I, I am doing the best I can, and the hardest part, mm-hmm. which made it draw out for me, was I had nobody's email. I would go into different chats. Even six weeks ago, I was in sifting some sort Mona's chat, and she didn't know what I was talking about. But I didn't want to come out and say it in her channel, and I it it. it and yeah, is it that serious? Well, it was consuming me because I was disrespected. I felt I was disrespected mm-hmm. and I wanted to address it yeah. with that person. But everybody was, you know, it, it wasn't an opportunity. And I went about it the wrong way. But where where is the right way to do that? If everybody doesn't have an email, you can't make it personal conversation between that person and you. Right. So I screwed up. I'm still swimming. You can drown the ant. It takes two weeks to drown the ant because they're exoskeletal. The more you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm, thank you for letting me. I'm done with it for forever from this point on. You're right. And I want to stay in the community. I do. And, and I'm going to tell you, Amber, I think that that is very big of you to publicly apologize and i don't know all the the ins and the outs of exactly everything that happened but um i applaud you for being willing to apologize and for wanting to do what you can to help everyone in the community because that's ultimately what all of this is about you know what i mean we're we're not perfect we make mistakes but you being um, woman enough to apologize is is part of what this whole geek squad thing is is all about so i really appreciate you doing that i appreciate the opportunity and like i said i i don't ever want to talk about it again unless they want to talk about it they can email me we don't have to be out there but i'm pretty sure it's done and over with i'm just saying i i i don't want to be in your chat and feel like what i'm if anything i comment will be picked apart if it is then that makes it harder on you so i'm not going to disrespect like that i promise Mm -hmm. you know and i appreciate it amber i really do um there's somebody backstage fiddy f-i-d-d-y um i need to see a i need to see your face all i see is an avatar and um i'd love for you to put something in the chat just so we can know who you are um we have had several situations where uh, our channel has been compromised because of the security steps that are necessary. I didn't take 
and uh, we're having a great conversation. I don't want something to happen on the live stream that causes me to have to take it down or do something different. So I just need to know who you are. That way we can let we can let you up, and then we can go from there. But we have to protect the channel, so please understand. Um, yeah, they say they don't have a webcam. Um, oh, he doesn't. Have, oh, he doesn't have a. Webcam. Doesn't have one now. Um, that that makes me that makes me a little nervous. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm sorry, but I just I, I can't do it. For the sake of the channel, I just can't. Um, so I wanted to say, Amber, that I really appreciate you saying what you said and apologizing because that is big and that means a lot. Um, and this whole situation that we go through called life and um, what we got going on, the ups and the downs, the, these floodwaters, if you will, they're going to come and they're going to go. There's no way around it. They're just, they're just there. It, it's life. Um, and when it comes to YouTube, I really try my best to stress the fact that everything that happens in YouTube is the same things that happen in life. They're, all of us have gone through a situation, unexpected expenses, something broke, something was not planned and we got to get it taken care of just so that we can survive and get to work to make more money to make up for the money that we got to spend on this and we have to do things different we may have to borrow money from somebody we may have to uh, forego something that was recreational or additional if you will but because of the necessity we had to make that sacrifice and it's the same thing with youtube there's there's things that come up and we have to make adjustments along the way in order for us to get where we're going um it's, it's just how it goes so um i'm just glad that as a community we are here encouraging and motivating each other and helping everyone to grow and to progress because that's all i want you know that's all i want Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm really big on the respect thing. Uh, I know it's contrary to uh, you know recent event, but if you knew me personally, you'd be like, "Oh my goodness, really?" But I uh, hey, respect respect. A lot of people they just don't have it. They don't know what it is, especially the generations, the the younger generation coming up you know that's been outed of them it's not been uh, put in them in their in their minds so if you've got a child that has respect oh my god <laughs> do you know that is so awesome because they they're not lost when they lose respect as a child mm -hmm. you know the f you and um I ain't got to do that. You ain't my daddy or you ain't my mama or some stuff like that. Disrespect. Who, who taught you to disrespect like that? Oh, you just like your mama. Really? Okay. Well, you know, the proof's in the, you know, it's, you, you got to teach them that. And, and I just, I kind of went off, off, off of, uh, <laughs> lost my track of mind. See, I'm watching her do her. Oh, her crocheting, and I need to start back doing it. I really do. But you know, I, it's relaxing me because I was a little stressed out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, it's no. You know, I mean, it's life. You know how it is. Oh uh, yeah, and we got to keep swimming, <laughs> or at least tread. Mm -hmm. And and I'm gonna tell you, um, these live streams yep. are relaxing to me. Yes, because yeah. what I have personally found is when you don't focus on yourself mm -hmm. you forget about your personal problems i got a million things i could cry about right now and oh my all God. This stuff or whatever mm -hmm. but um these live streams is the time for me to not focus on me and then not focusing on me for this hour to hour and a half when i come back to me later on 
Mm-hmm. It's like, you know what? I've got a little bit of a different perspective. Yeah. My personal problems aren't quite as bad as yeah. I may have allowed my imagination to make them. Right. That's what mm-hmm. I do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's really good to have these live streams. And that's why I enjoy them so much. Um, yeah, me, me too. I like to hang out, you know, chit chat. I like to just, yeah, just listen and. Mm-hmm. We want, you know, it doesn't. My son asked me, Mom, why are you worried about it? Why are you crying? Yes, I cried. Yes, my feelings were hurt. I am a human. That's what happens when you kind of get a surprise. I mean, I, I, like, like um, when I get back where I was years ago on this platform. Oh my God, block. Block is the most wonderful thing that you can do with your finger. Block. Yes. I mean, look, say if I disrespected you right now, you'd be like, block. Uh huh. It's that easy. It is. It's it is. that easy. And that's the beauty of YouTube. You can have what you want in it, or you can let go what you want in it. And that is not that easy in real life because, oh my goodness, do you know how many things I would be blocking and deleting around in my yard, out of my chicken coop? Oh, really, Rooster? He bit me last night. Block. I wished it was that easy. My son said, get the broom. I'm like, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, you know? Yeah. But anyway. I got you. I got you. And she left us. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping Kelly will come back in just a minute. Um, and the the thing about the ants is being willing to recognize that your biggest gift is the ability to help others. To connect, so, yes, together. Because that's what happens in the situation. That's the thumbnail for our live stream the ant realizes that by myself, I'm not as strong as with everyone else. So if we all come together, then collectively we can succeed. And and that's what I want to see. And I think as a community, even though we have ups and downs, we have our, our bumps in the road, if you will, by and large, as a community, we are sticking together, especially when we need to the most. And um, that, that's all I can ask from a community. And it makes me happy to know that, that that's what we're doing. Well, we definitely need, um, well, I'll just speak for myself, motivational people. Uh, you learn with Robert is another yes. one. Yeah. Except he's real quick when he talks, but he uh-huh. he's on that. He's doing something more than swimming, man. He's just so, whoosh. but um, he's still a motivational person, just like you, right? Thank you. Yes, indeed. It, it takes more than one because you know there's a lot to be. Motivation is important. That's all I can say. Yes, indeed. Most definitely. Not, just to, I'm not I'm not trying to overbear the conversation, but I went up. I uh, walked up the hill to my mama's house and she goes, and she moved from her chair to her, to the couch over by the other couch where I was sitting. She goes, Lord, I wish I hadn't moved over here. Cause now I can see that um, my floors need mopped again. I see something didn't come up. Uh-huh. She says, but I just don't feel like it. I said, mom, you sat there all day. She said, I'm just not motivated. Uh huh. So what happens when you don't have motivation? A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> that, that's it. A whole that's lot it. of nothing. And what's going on, Steve Gilmore YouTube channel? Thanks for being here, bro. We appreciate you. And the, the thing about motivation is motivation can only get you so far. Um, and I'll use the um, I'll use a medical analogy if um 
Oh, hey, Anne Marie Love. Thank you so much for being here, being part of our mod squad. Put your comment up earlier, but I forgot to address you in the midst of the conversation. But thank you so much for being here. And I went back and checked out your live stream from today, and you was cooking up some stuff now. You was cooking up some stuff. Um, but to use a medical term uh, or a medical situation, take someone that has, um, we'll use arthritis. You can go to the doctor and the doctor can give you a shot that takes away all your pain from arthritis. Hey, you are right as rain, as my big bro vision would say. You know, you're ready to go climb Mount Kilimanjaro and um, you ready to go. But after a while, that shot wears off. And then all of a sudden, the, the, the cricking of the bones and, and all of those things and the pain, they come back. Because the shot just disconnected your body from your brain. Right. <laughs> that, that, that's all it did. Your body was still hurting. It's just that your brain didn't know that your body was hurting. Um, right. And, 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 and I say that because in full transparency, that is the reason why we go live Monday through Friday every day. It's because one day is not enough. I got to go back in. I know you, I'm sorry. I know you can hear them roosters. Oh, no, you're fine. Um, sorry. It's one, one live stream is not enough for me personally yeah. to be motivated. And I want to do the best that I can to share motivation with everyone. So just one day out of the week, that is, it's like that shot wearing off. You know what I mean? I, you you got to keep getting that shot because that's how you're able to be your best. So we're, we're just here trying to infuse motivation into everyone, including ourselves, so that we can get through tomorrow. You're right. You know, I was uh, trying to uh, encourage my sons. I don't know. I was worried about them. This was a few years back, but I bought them both. Up. It's like a stone and it says insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting the same yes. to uh -huh. get a different. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. To get a different uh, result. Yeah. yeah. And so I went to the doctor and I got injections and in probably every joint in my body over a period of years. And you know what? That was insanity. So I quit. I quit and I kept on swimming and I, you just reminded me of it. So I figured I'd touch on that. Okay. You know, you, you just gotta, uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta quit sometimes, you know, in order to go forward, you gotta stop, I guess, I guess. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Um, Oh, thank you so much, Big Bro Vision. I appreciate you. And, man, I'm telling you, I see you, fam. You are on your grind. And you being on your grind is motivating me to stay on mine. And then I motivate you to stay on yours. And together, we can't quit, which means we have no other choice but to succeed. Because success does not always come immediately. But to those that refuse to let it go, they will eventually catch it. Right. Dwell and dwell. You can't dwell like that. You can't move forward if you're stuck in the past. You got to you got to renew in your mind some things in order to remember and feel why you don't want to do that again. But that you don't live in the past. You got to, you know, go forward. That's it. Motivate. And go forward. That is it. What's going on, Sleazy? How you doing, sis? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Give me one second. I just got to get out this car so we can walk in the barbershop. Mm. You have to get out on the other side, buddy.
Yeah, get out on this side. Okay. All right. But yeah, that's that's the biggest thing to this whole situation is um not stopping and not not stopping when it's easy to want to stop. Takes a lot of willpower. Sure enough. A lot of will. And I see people succeeding every day in life and on this platform. And it makes me happy. Well, would you say that um, motivation and willpower is about the same thing, isn't it? Yes. They are, they are definitely cousins. Uh, dare I say um, siblings. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got to have both. You got to have both. So, um, and, and like, I'm going to tell you, I had, um, I've been trying to step up my game on Facebook. What's going on? You know what? I'm trying to step up my game on Facebook because um, I really want another revenue stream. I want another way to be able to generate revenue to allow us to do more over here and to do more in other places. Um, but in the process, that takes time, it takes effort, and there's going to be things that um there's gonna be things that happen oh um vi vision yeah yeah i gotta let me, you know what i mean get, get it situated bro get it situated you know what i mean motivation <laughs> yes indeed can i uh can i suggest something for you what's that i don't know if you've heard of rumble r-u-m-b-l-e i have rumble i haven't tried it but i have heard you really need to and the good thing about it is um it's unlike youtube uh that you can uh, go more into detail on things uh carry conversations that you you cannot do on youtube you oh. know and i'm pretty sure you have deeper thoughts than uh in when there's things you wanted to say but you can't because oh wait youtube might do this youtube might do that Very rumble true. doesn't do that at all very true now that's, I, that's one of the reasons why we started the podcast and um this fine young man that is draped over my neck has been a guest on several of our podcasts and we talked about things like football and so on and so forth um and i'm trying to push the podcast a little bit more so we can get into some different topics and have some guests over and that kind of deal um Real quick, I want to say hey to Janella, JMT Squad. What is going on, sis? Thank you so much for being here. Um, can you do me a favor, Janella? Can you let me know whether your sister is still game for tomorrow? Because I haven't made the thumbnail for tomorrow's live stream, and I don't have an email or a way to get up with her. So if you could let me know if she's still game for tomorrow, because we wanted to interview her for um, – the welcoming Wednesday. So if you're still here, just let me know. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know we're gonna get these ends trimmed. We're gonna get these ends trimmed. Um, so uh, Big Bro Rooster, um, his little man's haircut is uh, fifteen dollars, but I normally give the bar barber um, twenty dollars. I give him a five dollar tip because he does great work. And um, man, I've known him since I was a little man's age. So. You know, we always got to show some extra love and support that way. Well, I'm going to say bye and uh, hello to your little man. And hey. uh, he seems so respectful. So we know why that is, though. And I'm, I'm going to get off of here. And uh, thanks for having me up. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming up, Amber. It was a privilege. And um, we can't wait for you to come up again. Just stay blessed. All right. You too, sis. All right. Bye. All right, take care. We got my bro, micro farmer in the building. What's good, micro farmer? How you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're doing well, fam. Hope you're doing well. Let's see, everybody's speaking to everybody. Um, <laughs> so 
That's what's up. That's what's up. I don't know why I go live. It seems like um, maybe it's because I talk so much, but it's like all the moisture. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet, but it looks like something. Yeah, we can do Yeah, let's do Sonic. See, that's the dollar menu. You know, we can we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, I, I think that is very appropriate. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. <clears throat> Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Janela. Do me a favor. Um, just hit me up on Instagram. That way I'll know. And um, I didn't want to invite anybody else because I promised her that we would interview her tomorrow. Um, but let's do this. If um, if Christine isn't able to make it tomorrow, would you be willing to come on tomorrow? And then we can interview you and your channel. And you can talk to us about the Facebook thing and let some people know about what's going on over there. Um, that way, either way, I've got somebody for tomorrow, and um, and we'll, we'll go from there. And then whoever doesn't come this Wednesday can come up next Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Sassy. I'm telling you, and Marie be over there burning in a good way in that kitchen. Doing it up. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for seven dollars. <laughs> for seven dollars. You write Psalm 146. Look, I was talking, um, I was talking to Jay the other day and I was like, Man, when you come to the States, I need you to go ahead and just you know what I mean? Because um Jay on that barber stuff now. He, he's a good barber. So um we're we gonna make that happen when it comes to the states. Um, Lucy said, "Now nah, I need to come out and get my hair cut. <laughs> These two heads in my hood would be six, sixty to seventy dollars. Good gracious! Yeah, but see, Big Rooster lives in California. The price of living is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 a different price. That's a different price. Yeah, we're gonna get Sonic." We're going to get Sonic. We're going to ball on our budget and get some Sonic. Um, oh, I got you. I got you. No problem at all. Um, 6.30. Okay. Yeah, we're going to make that work. We're going to make that work. Um, $35. Wow. Where are you at, Deborah? Let me know where you're at. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to do a collab with Matt. I'm with Max. I want to do a collab with Max for sure. Um, I'm gonna reach out to him on YouTube because uh, yeah, I definitely want to do a collab with Max. That's for sure. Um, it's the normal time of our live stream, Janella. So it would be um, yeah. I think we should be able to play football tomorrow. So tomorrow, um, it will be. Tomorrow it'll be at um, 5:15. Yeah, tomorrow it'll be at 5:15. I had to double check mentally my schedule because if I had to borrow my mother-in-law's car, I'd have to push the stream back. But I don't have to, so it'll be 5:15 tomorrow, Janella. Just let me know, and we'll go from there. Um, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, Jared. I am, I am my own barber. You know what I mean? I take care of this. This bald head, and um, every now and then I let my barber um, here at the barber shop take care of it too, just to mix it up. Just to mix it up. What's going on, fam? We got the word in the building. What's good with you? What's good with you? Oh, we got B Whistle in the house. What's good, fam? How you doing? Thank you, thank you for coming through and hanging out with us. That is what's up. Um, Big Rooster said. Um, barbers think that they beauticians. <laughs> I need to look pretty just because I need a haircut. <laughs> I feel you, fam. I feel you. They, um, yeah, they, they like they work. They like they work. That is a good question, Psalm 146. 
Once the Yo, next box video. comes in, we will go live on Little Man's channel and we will review the next box of um, snacks. Today is mm, 16, no, 14. I don't really got my box. Okay. So we'll, we'll see. It's going to be soon, Psalm 146. But I'll be sure to let everybody know and um, we'll go from there. Um, what's going on, my bro, Ron? How you doing? Um, afternoon, everyone. I hope you are all enjoying the snow in New England. Wow. New England snow. That is crazy. I'm just glad you're doing good, Ron, because. Um, when I didn't see you for the hypothon, I got nervous. I didn't know if something had happened. But I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad you're doing well, bro. That is good stuff. We got my buddy Prescription Nails in the building. What's going on, RX Nails? Good to see you, sis. Good to see you. Um, oh, I forgot Anne Marie's up that way, too. Um, the, it broke me. The window could stretch. Well, y'all up there getting um, blizzards. Blizzards. Um, oh, wow. The entire town is out of power. That's crazy. That is crazy. Trees down. Okay, working. Um, wow. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we out here trying to do the thing. We out here trying to do the thing. Oh, so this is what I was going to tell you. And, um, oh, Nor'Eastern. I remember that term now, Anne Marie. I remember that term now. Um, Thanks for reminding me, Anne Marie. That's right. It is that time. We got Rios in the building. What's going on, fam? How are y'all doing? Thank you for coming through. Oh, the rain and the winds took out your power too, Sassy. Wow, that's crazy. Um, let's see what else says. More flooding and rain. Headed to Cali, another blizzard headed to the East Coast, y'all be prepped out there. Yes, gots to be prepped. Gots to be prepped. Um, my friend's daughter, both new cars Oh my gracious, both new cars total. That's crazy. So, um, we've been talking about this whole concept of um, of buoyancy, overcoming things, having a support system to help us. Um, and I was mentioning a second ago that um, we're trying to step up our present presence on Facebook. And um, I've heard some really good things from Janella about Facebook and how that works. So we're interested in working out on that platform or whatever. So um, I put out a post. And um, what ended up happening was um, somebody commented on the post. And they literally called me crap, told me that I was a fake motivator, and that I was identical to a cockroach. I'm going I'm to I'm let that sit in for a second. I'm going to let that sit in for a second. They told me that I was a crap motivator and that um, I had no business being on Facebook. And that I was identical to a cockroach. Now, I hid the comment because I don't even want that on the live stream video or whatever. Um, and I went and looked. I, I know Amber. I know. I, I know. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um... Um, people can be horrible, sassy. They can. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And likewise, I feel the same way. Um, and it's just, it's crazy because, um, 
Yeah, super, super ignorant. Super ignorant. Um, I, I know it's crazy. The word is crazy. It's crazy. Thank you so much, Amber. I appreciate it. And the reason why I mentioned that is because of the subject that we're discussing today um, about a year, about a year and a half ago, I was actually using Facebook to try to promote more of our content. And we're still live on Facebook right now, but I was trying to promote more of our content, putting videos out over there. And um, I had joined a couple of Facebook groups, hoping that by joining those groups, there would be people of a like mind and they would appreciate the content and they would um, do what they could to help me grow. And um, when I tell you the level with which I was crapped on, for lack of a better term, was to the point where I literally stopped doing Facebook because it was it was just that bad. So I stopped doing Facebook. But now looking back on it, I um. I did myself a disservice. I should have kept going. So fast forward to now. The difference is we have a community here that we build each other up. We keep each other strong. So I don't have to worry about the ignorance and all these other things because, hey, that's just co-signing. The fact that we are doing something positive. That's what that is. So I want to thank each and every one of you that are part of our community. Because this go round, when the negativity came, I was ready for it. Because it wasn't just me. It was us. We are a family. We overcome these things. We bounce back. We don't quit. We don't stop. Thank you so much, Rio, for that for your kind words. I appreciate you. Oh, I forgot to read Psalm's comment. PWLT, everything that they said was only revealing the condition of their own heart. I don't do. Yes, that part right there, Psalm. That part right there. That part right there. Um I I know, bro. I know. And I remember it. And it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, thank you so much, Ron. I appreciate you, bro. I really do. Um, yes, people hate to see others do and accomplish things they can. Self-hate is real. And people project it into others. Now, this is the funny thing, um, the word, and it's proof of everything that we've been talking about since I mentioned this situation. Um, their Facebook page or account, whatever you want to call it, they have no friends. The last post that they put on Facebook was in 2020. Um, for lack of a better term, it is a dead account. But yet, they're trying to make sure we die in the process too. And we ain't gonna let it. We ain't gonna let it stop us. We will overcome and we will succeed. We just will. Yes. Oh, oh yeah yeah everybody um everybody liked that video uh-huh i know that's what i'm saying oh yeah the craziness the craziness um so, little man was looking at, um, yeah, one of the shorts that I put up. He was talking about that comment right there, where they they said new 
he was dancing, he was bouncing on the um, trampoline, and it's just proof of what we're what we're talking about, what we're discussing. Um, yes, exactly, exactly. Um, let's see. Yes, that part, song. That part. We get to learn and grow together. We get to learn and grow together and overcome these things. That is for sure. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So I, I mention these things in closing because I want you to continue to be the awesome individual content creator person that you are because you will succeed you will find success it is going to happen as long as you don't stop so i just want you to keep going so whether individually you're swimming like that salmon to get where you're trying to go or whether collectively you're locking arms so that you can be buoyant and float over the floodwaters of negativity and everything else. We want you to do that because we want you to succeed. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all for coming and for hanging out with us. Um, little man going to get his hair cut in a little bit. We're going to grab us some Sonic. I got to go home and um, I got to edit a gardening video. And I've got to edit a um, leg press video that I want to drop fitness. And I've got a, a quick tech tips video. So I'm trying to get some of these videos dropped um, and edited so I can kind of drop them throughout the rest of the week. So we're going to work on that. Y'all, listen, before I go, I need, I need you to know something. And I need you to know this because it is important for the community. If you miss Kim, the Educated Naturals live stream today, I need you to go back and watch that live stream. Because when I tell you that that sister right there, yes, she had a lot to say that needed to be said. And the things that she did, it was perfect. Thank you so much, Amber. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for coming up. Thank you so much for apologizing publicly about everything that went down that shows the sign of your character and we appreciate you being part of the family let's see i've been going i've been going all the video editing and finding many videos yes that part that part oh thank you ken thank you man i I appreciate you, Kim. I appreciate you. Yes, indeed. Kim is the educated natural. That's it, and That is it. So um, we just appreciate everybody doing what you can to help with the community and the way that you do what you do. We want to see everybody succeed. We know that you're going to make it. We wish you the best. And we can't wait to see you on the next after work live stream. A good pause for emphasis. The next after work live stream. So tomorrow is going to be Welcome In Wednesday. And we are going to have one of the two sisters that we're going to interview for our Welcome In Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. That's what's up, Amber. That's what's up. Thank you so much for going and supporting Kim and showing her some love. That is good stuff. That is good stuff. Everybody is speaking to everybody and showing love. So we appreciate you all. I'm going to catch up with little man a little bit. We're going to get the hair cut. Then I'm going to go home, get in the studio, and get to work. We wish you the best. Remember, stay strong, stay positive, stay active. Geek Squad. We're going to play our members on the way out. And we will see you tomorrow for a welcome in Wednesday. Take care, everyone.